G'day ice cream lover, Steve Christensen here, the ice cream bloke, self-appointed headmaster of Scoob School here at the ICA show, the Ice Cream Expo. Look, we love coming down and seeing our friends at RSS Hereford, and uh, they are an equipment um, dealer, reseller, trainer, helps people get set up in their uh, stores. Look, we're here looking at a piece of equipment today that I don't think we've seen on the US market before, and it solves a bit of a problem with people wanting to do more pint containers, quart containers, take out containers and do them en masse. So we have Dosi here, but tell us about Dosi. We've got the third generation of the uh, James family. He goes by Benjamin, he's asked me to call him Benjamin. I honestly don't mind, but... Uh... <laughs> he's been known as Big Ben around the place too, but yes. that's fine. Third generation, this is another thing that I love about coming to talk to vendors and suppliers because there's so much knowledge. These guys just aren't salespeople, they are partners in your business. Would you say you're a partner in people's success, right? Oh, absolutely. We try to sort of help people throughout the generations. We have several customers who their kids and their kids' kids are now starting really? to, yeah, we've been doing it for a long time now. And your granddad said he's been peddling and uh, training and so forth for 40 years. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna hand the microphone over to Ben to tell us a little bit about this machine here. I love the term potting machine. When this, when this unit arrived, as the story goes, dad and granddad locked you in a room with this machine yes. and said, don't come out until you're the expert. Yes. So you want to kind of walk through the container, the process of the batch, um, a little bit about Valmar, because we don't see a lot of Valmar in the States. Valmar are a Slovenian company, uh, some of the best engineered both mechanically and uh, electronically, they're fantastic. They're, say, the Rolls-Royce of uh, ice cream machinery. With the barrel on this, it's not a uh, refrigerated barrel, but it's well insulated, so uh, you get plenty of time from which to produce your ice cream in your batch freezer. And we have some hooks here that enable this to sit firmly and happily on the edge of the machine. Does the machine need to be fitted here? Or can I use this with can I take this unit with my other brand machine and just sit it on a shelf? I'm not 100% on that. I think it's designed for the Valmar uh, machinery, right. but uh, we do have customers who use other machines and the, uh, the potter. It's simple enough just to have a shelf underneath the machine just to have it on as well. You can put this in the freezer if you want. Yeah, just if you're taking a long time to move it across. We have pre-chilled the uh, barrel before to add a little bit extra time, but typically if you're doing it in a relatively quick time, it's not necessary. The, uh, the uh, insulation is enough on that on its own. Yes, and it comes out like that. Just twist again, yep, to lock it in place. And you would treat your ice cream mix in here the same as you treat it in any other Napoli pan. So if you decorate it, you do it the same way in here. You can put your ice cream ripples in and uh, that will be maintained through the potting process. It just needs to be able to fit through the nozzle of the potter. Uh, it's not, you know, it doesn't have to be tiny. It can be a fairly sizable chunk, but obviously not enormous as some people like to do. Uh, but yeah, so you can take it from here and uh, you just take it across to our potter. Typically, the barrel as a whole, it, it, does, it is empty all the way through. And when you're adding your ice cream in, uh, to slide the blade in. So imagine you've already put your thing in for the batch. Yep. You then put it into here, so pick it up, move it across, place it in place. And then once that, that's across, there are several safety features to sort of stop people mangling themselves in the machinery. And then at that point, you then remove this once it's in place, which enables the ice cream to go down into the potting. This is like the blade that's the uh, cutting the assistant in half, the beautiful assistant. When uh, you're using this, do you have a beautiful assistant to come and actually pull this out? I'll say I, that was part of my job description, is I had to be <laughs> that beautiful assistant. So, uh, so we pop this over here, and then, so now it's in place, you then lock the barrel in place here, just to keep it firmly secure to enable the piston because the piston is tight on the side as you can see here there's the o-rings you don't get any sort of liquids you know slipping up through the sides it's a nice seal yes yes almost all of the product is deposited into the pots so once that's locked in place you would then press start on that machine there there's no mix in there at the moment so it would just go down to the bottom but typically the piston travels down through the barrel 
until it reaches the resistance of the mix, at which point it stops, and uh, then the foot paddle will activate, and you can use that to deposit into small or large or depending on what you want to do, different types of pot. It's not pushing a lot of overrun in. No, so absolutely. This balance of the piston comes down until it reaches resistance and it kind of maintains that as it Yeah, because obviously it's gravity fed from the, the natural inclination of the mix is to go down anyway. So the piston just sort of nudges it down out through the hole, but it, there's a blade at the bottom that helps maintain that aeration in the mix and not squish all of your over and out, which is obviously a significant priority for some uh, producers. That then comes out at the bottom into your different types of pots, and there are different nozzles. If you want to be more decorative or if you want to have a wider pot, there's different nozzles that will fill it more effectively than this one. You're listing it for somewhere around 13K? Uh, about 14 and a half. Okay, on the list, but customers get percentages off list yes. and so forth. Look, it's a great investment because we've always taught people that I honestly feel as though just opening up a brick and mortar isn't enough anymore. You've really got to have these extra streams of revenue and that might be wholesaling, that might be uh, making ice cream for somebody else, co-packing and scoops and spades only take you so far, don't they? I would say we have with some of our customers, they've done in an hour what they used to be able to do in a, in a whole day because right. you save so much time. You also use less staff because whereas you might have five people doing a potting, there's that too many extra people that you can have one person on this potting and you can do substantially more than you would. We call it hand. packing. I think potting just sounds so much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce into the American and the North American uh, vernacular yes. the process of potting ice cream. Yeah. Just like your potting of flour. Yeah. That beautiful, delicate process Absolutely. which culinarily at the end it's as beautiful as a beautiful visual flower. Oh absolutely, like as I said, you can maintain your ripples and your mixes into this, so it's, it's designed for artisan gelato and uh, ice cream, uh, so it is a higher quality product and we needed a higher quality potter to uh, maintain that. I would call it Harry. Harry. No, it's Dozy. It is Dozy. I know, but Harry Potter sounds a lot better than Dozy Potter. <laughs> ben, where do we find out more about RSS Hereford? Uh, well, we have our website, rssherefordcouk uh, which has information on there. And also, if you come see us at any of our stands or, uh, you know... Stop in. Stop in, yes. We uh, ha often have demos where we can demo this in person and you can even use your own mix. You can come and see Ben in the flesh. Yes. Demoing the potting machine, demoing Harrier. Yeah. Harry. So, we're going to put a link uh, to Hereford's website on below. Uh, so, click on that link, have a look at all I have to offer. Great website, great people. If you're in the UK, look, even if you're in the US or anywhere in the world, I think it's well worth looking at some of these different manufacturers and how they do things, training information, all good information. Thank you, Ben. No, thank you're you a chip off the old blocks meaning granddad and dad should be very proud of the young man that you've become. Oh, thank the you The internet much. sensation that you've become. Wow, uh, <laughs> this is my first internet presence, I guess, so. Uh, <laughs> you've got a TikTok channel or a... Uh... No, I don't, actually. Oh, okay. Well, we'll... Maybe soon, maybe I'll... This will... <laughs> maybe a new direction in your uh, online presence. Look, I know you're a big fan of the YouTube video, so you would know exactly what we say at the end of every video. Keep on scooping. <laughs> Keep on scooping. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one.